Here we go. All of the masters made on this shape. That's not that's not what you start with. What what is the first shape you learn how to make? Just the basic pieces. Like a bowl or a plate? Not that's one similar. That's ilk öğrendiğiniz şeyler diyor. Şurada bir düzenin var. Like these ones. Okay. Okay. Like a pot. Yeah, like there. After finding it goes like that. She's learning as well. She's a student, she's learning. Nice. That's the, the one she made, you know, as her piece. Is it ever heartbreaking after the firing if it doesn't turn out? Well, sometimes it gets, you know, the, if the temperature is over than 1200, it goes like this. It melts. Oh. This is over temperature. And if it is less than 900 degrees Celsius, while we're using it, broke very easy. Ah. It's not going to be strong enough. And also sometimes, uh, if there is a, a stone in the clay, while we're fighting it, get cracks. So it must be heartbreaking sometimes, because you think this is the perfect. Yeah, I mean, actually, most of the pieces we will see in the next section, like where we spend about a couple of months on that. <sighs> the design, painting, glazing, and then while the second firing, very little tiny stone or the air bubble in the clay, it makes them all cracked <sighs> or broke. That's why at that time, you know, while it happened like that, we feel really, really sad. I'm sure. Just spend about a couple of months on that, and finally, you. <laughs> Lost that. So I thought that if you started to make something in clay, you couldn't put it down. You have to finish it, in, but you can go back and do more work on it? We, we do recycle, but the quality going lower. No, but I mean, if he decided that he had to leave right now, could that stay wet and then come back tomorrow and finish no, no, no. that? You have so, to finish it, yes. Okay. Wow, did you see that? Have you oh, seen yeah. how he made it? Just fold it over. Huh? Like, yeah, like, like just this. put it that way. I, for, I taped it. <laughs> okay, we'll watch it. I will watch it when I go home. That was very cool. Now he just cuts it off. That's only the circle part. And now he's going to make a hole to put the spot part from there. That's amazing. Wow. Thank you. That's amazing. There's my tea. And you can cut it. from the middle. You will see the inside as well. So when did he first decide that he loved this work? Since he was a Small little, child. you know, the child, he used to play with the clay. He used to watch his parents and uncles. Wow, that's amazing. Very good. That is hollow all the way through. And, and he made the first. He made the circle, and he put on the side like this. Yeah. Then he made other pieces, uh, the spot, the base, and the handle, and he put them together with his hand without using any glue or anything. Then when it is dry enough, he just lifts it up and he puts uh, like a, the dry roots to get proper dry. Then we fire them. Then after firing, we polish with the sandpaper to get more smoother when we attach them together. Then parts we polish. Then after we design. And after firing, it is one piece. Can't take it off from each other. Now he's making little small piece, I think, with that clay. And he do designing, painting, glazing, firing. He said, "Good master." And teaching. Does he do teaching? Of course, he's teaching yes. too.
He makes it look very easy. I know it is not. Yes. 25 years. Yes. That's a long time. He's going to be the next great master, I think. That's amazing. You have to be very patient, too, can you imagine? Like a teardrop bottle. So being a good potter in history was very important. It was. I mean, this is just like a, in this area, the people who used to live in, you know, the, with this arts. Mm -hmm. And in this area, the, the gentlemen used to work in pottery, and the, the females used to do carpet weaving. And in this area, if the the young, you know, the, the boys cannot do, you know, do make pottery, they can't get uh, married easily before because, mm -hmm. you know, they need to feed their family. And that's that why, you know, when uh, the young men need to marry and they want to marry with the, the girl, their father used to ask, does he make pottery? You know, how he can feed my daughter. So it was important. That was important. And it was just like a male art, but Mr. Dallas started teaching this art to the females at 34 years ago. First, he teach this art to his mother. There is an old lady making pottery there. Yep. Then after, he teach this art to his wife and other ladies. Now we get a lady students also from different countries in the world. And also we get students from universities in Turkey. They can come here and they training and learning this art from great masters. Wow. This is a teardrop bottle. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you.